And so we're going to be looking at electric potential difference. And you probably already have a good deal of familiarity with the concept of electric potential difference. Here's a classic uh, electric circuit. And what's happening here, of course, is the electrons are flowing through the circuit. And they all have a certain amount of energy, a certain number of joules per every coulomb of charge. And they're losing that energy as they go through this light bulb. And so if I were to measure voltage, before and after the light bulb, I see I get 9 volts. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I can certainly see it. So these electrons have gone through an electric potential difference, and their energy has changed or dropped between those two locations in the circuit. If I were to look over here, of course, nothing much has happened. Maybe they've lost a little bit of energy due to resistance in the wire, but there is no potential difference between those two locations. And so really what it is, it's the potential energy available per coulomb of charge in any given field. Now we were just looking at a conductor, but you can use any field. And this is all relative to infinity. So there's my potential energy equation. And in this case, it depends on two charges of any size. Really, when I'm talking about electric potential difference, I'm talking about a single charge of one coulomb and so I just have to modify this equation a bit and now I'm going to, instead of having Q2 I'm going to be measuring this in terms of joules per coulomb and so I'm going to divide by Q2 and those are going to cancel and there is my equation for electric potential energy and we term it volts but really its units are joules per coulomb. And so here I am with a point charge sitting in space and I can look at the electric field surrounding that charge. There's the direction. If I put a test charge in here and I were to release that test charge it would be able to accumulate 8.5 joules if I were to release it and allow it to go to infinity. And so that's the electric potential energy per coulomb of charge. Now a more common examination of electric potential difference is to look at the difference in the electric field at two locations. And so, um, and so if I was this far away from a charge and there is, there's the equipotential potential line which measures the same potential energy around a charge. If I were to move out to a different location in the field, I can see how much energy I could get out between these two locations. That is actually the more common calculation of potential difference. And so it's just a matter of taking the potential difference for the two locations measured relative to infinity. And that will tell me how much energy gets released between those two locations per unit charge.